Hey guys, this is a reading for um, September the 6th through the 13th. There's readings for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to see who's coming towards you guys and um, what it is that they could possibly want from you guys, okay? Scorpio. Please show me who's coming towards Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? energetically it's coming towards Scorpio King of Cups another water sign like yourself Scorpio maybe Cancer or Pisces somebody that um, is very emotional okay I feel like this person is emotionally mature stable and then we have a King of Swords here air energy huh Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We're going to see if this is two different people. It could definitely be the same person. Um, quite possibly a Cancer individual here. But um, very, very smart. This person uh, is very controlled. If this is one person, very controlled emotionally and mentally. Um, this person knows how to use their, their logic and their heart to make decisions okay what else eight of swords somebody's stuck in the past stuck in their own thoughts feeling like they are just trapped here hmm and then the ten of pentacles Virgo energy there well 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 This is all about commitment and stability, building a legacy. Huh. I feel like this person is, is stable, definitely. But at the same time, they're caught up in happenings that happened in the past. They feel like you guys have been in a cycle, going around and around in a circle. But overall, I feel like this is like a temporary um, situation because they are actively trying to work through and release themselves from um, ruminating thoughts is the thing. So I feel like this is something fresh that's happened. Um, they want to get past this because they definitely want to you know, have this committed relationship, this situation with you guys here, okay? Please show me more about the King of Cups energy. The Three of Pentacles. They definitely want to um, compromise in a situation with you. They want to know that you guys are able to also move past certain situations that have occurred between the two of you and be able to do your part is what I'm getting. The, this person is willing to do their part, but they also want you to do your part. Okay, be willing to compromise um, in this situation. Capricorn energy. Please show me more about the King of Swords. Seven of Cups. Confusion. This person usually is very, very in control, but I think it bothers them that. <clears throat> they can't get over something they can't move past something um, they're very conflicted mentally and emotionally but they're they are so able to um, reason with themselves to get their emotions in check but um, they're, they're struggling currently <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> And then we have judgment, making a decision. I feel like this person definitely is conflicted about um, whether or not to start over. They definitely want to start over, but thinking about, worrying about shit is, is what's getting them right now. The air side of them is like taking over the logical side of them it's like you know too much shit has happened Scorpio's done too much um, they possibly feel like you guys had them 
excuse me, in a three-party situation and that you had um, different people involved in your relationship. You were involved with the different people within the relationship or one person, but um, there's a level of insecurity here as far as what has happened between you two in the past and them thinking that, you know, you were involved with someone else is the thing. But <clears throat> they're currently at a point where they're trying to, um, you know, muddle through this and make a decision like, you know, if I'm going to get back with Scorpio, then I'm going to have to let something go. But it's hard for them to let it go is the thing. I definitely see this person wanting to get back with you guys here. But they're struggling currently. <clears throat> Please show me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Then we have the Five of Swords. There's a lot of conflict. Um, a lot of backbiting, I feel, that was going on within your relationship. This person feels this way. Like, you know, maybe you guys hit below the belt, they feel. You didn't have to do what you did. That sort of thing. And, <clears throat> hmm, Aquarius energy. They're struggling. They, this person is really struggling because this is a very logical, very um, emotionally sound individual that you are dealing with. But right now, they feel off balance. They truly feel off balance. I feel like you guys have had lots of arguments, um, and they were they were at some point fighting, making a decision. Um, I feel Gemini is here as well, maybe Libra, but um, struggling with a, this choice, you know, do you let it go or is it worth saving, you know? What do they really want with Scorpio? What does this person really want with Scorpio? What does this person really want with Scorpio? They want to be happy. They want to be happy. They're struggling with opening it up to you, though. I feel like this person does not want to be single. Um, almost like they're refusing to let go. They're refusing to let go of you, but they're having a hard time letting go of what they feel are past <clears throat> slights against them. But um, I'm getting that this person feels happy when they are with you. They're content when they're with you. They want things to go smoothly between you. It's a thing, okay? Piscean energy there. So, and they want you to be happy. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.